All right, we're out here at the old trailer here, and we're going to be getting rid of the uh, 9.44. Now, these wheels are based on 9.44 inches between these two bolts here. And they were manufactured, some of them were fully round, uh, the hole in the center, and they were manufactured for about uh, 40 years or so. Now, these do not have the weight, does not rest on the bolts. It rests on this part of the hub. So the bolts are just there to hold it on. And what you get here is you get a very strong wheel that can be used for anything from 2,500 pounds up to about 7,000 pounds. And pretty common in the travel trailer, box trailer, and other utility trailers that they used for these. Now, in my case, in the previous video, you've seen these rims right here. These rims are five on four and a half. And all automotive rims like this, their support is on the bolts. So we're going to open up a box here that I got from Libra Trailer Parts. And I'll put the link right down there below in the description. Um, it's, it's a complete kit with everything in it. So let me pause and I'll open this up and lay them out. All right, so we've got the brake sets out. Um, the brake sets, the way I've just received them is there's the bolts are just laying loose inside. They're just kind of pressed in. So sometimes they'll get not loose in shipping. But the bolts for your four bolts for your 3,500 pound axle are just, in this case, kind of loose down inside of here. And what you've got here is, if you'll notice, the direction of travel of this brake when the magnet hits the inside of the drum is one's one direction and one is the other direction. So if this is for a single axle. I do have two of these kits to do all, all four wheels. And here's what you get. You get a five bolt, which will bolt up on my uh, trailer, brand new, all new stuff. And it'll bolt up on my trailer and it comes with everything you need. 3,500 pound bearings and oil seal and the cap with a removable rubber plug on it. And, uh, the extra bolts that we're just laying for it now it doesn't come with the nuts that are for this but this looks like a uh, looks like about a 7 16 and I believe the nuts off if you have one of them they'll work so here's the deal I'm replacing those Dexter star rims with these and the big issue is whether or not the distance between here and the surface here where the wheel amount is going to be the same. Now, we did this in measuring, and we come up with just about a sixteenth of an inch difference uh, with math on the offset, so that the offset on this wheel here is just about identical to the offset. It's real dirty, full of brake dust there. But the offset to where this is in the center of the hub is practically identical by a sixteenth of an inch as the offset on these. So these 16 inch wheels with tire, tires on them are going to replace these and it should fit inside the fender wells very well with the same amount of space between the fender and the tire. So that's going to be the next job we're going to be doing along with uh, getting this generator's doghouse put on it and mounted. And there is your wheel hubs and all the hardware you get. Now this was pretty cheap. Uh, it's under 150 bucks for every bit of this. 3,500 axle conversion. But they don't really explain to you that you can do this with just any trailer. They say it fits any 3,500 axle. Well, that's not true. Know your math know your bearings, know your oil, find out what your oil seal is, and then compare that to the math. Uh, look in the link. They have information on there, 
and go down through the link and you'll be able to read all the things that spec out to what you might be using. So a 3500 axle and a 4200 axle are technically the same. One is a six bolt and one is a five bolt, but they're, the rest is all the same. And in this one's case, this one here is a 5,000 pound tube. So that's the, that's the tube that's the axle tube. A, a uh, 4,200 pound springs and 3,500, 4,200 pound hubs. But that's what, that's what they built with travel trailers. And that's what this frame originated from was travel trailer frame. And it's build out is very stout now. So be looking for, for the build on this and installation on this so that you'll see how it's done. And it's not very difficult, but it is time consuming. Be sure that you understand how to wire your brakes. And you'll notice both of them are green. That sounds and looks terrible. One goes to your frame and one goes to your blue wire on your seven or six or five typically always the blue wire and make sure your wire lengths are equal because a little bit of resistance will make one grab more at one spot and one less at the other make sure your wire length is equal and like I do I just pull off a bunch of four footers and hook them all up and even and tuck in whatever's left when I hook these up so all right so I'm gonna give you that pretty nice setup not bad comes with everything and brand new why rebuild when you can put new stuff in?